Hi there guys, so in this video we will be taking a look at the Vojra starter plugin. It is a starter WordPress plugin scaffold which I recently created for making WordPress plugins and helping you kickstart your workflow such as with uh, block development, uh, admin dashboard, onboarding etc. Uh, with a clean react UI and um, it will have many more features in the near future but this is just a video to show you how you can get started on it right away so uh, here i have opened the github repository of vajra starter plugin i'll link it down in the video description it's open source all you need to do is basically just download this the you can either clone it or download a zip i'm just gonna download a zip let's try to install it i suppose it can be installed directly as you can see, it says your installation of Vajra Start plugin is incomplete because we downloaded it from GitHub and we need to install some of the NPM packages and Composer packages. I'm going to switch to my code editor, which is Visual Studio Code Editor. Let's open this. So since we downloaded from the main uh, branch, it also had the main branch appended to it uh, as a GitHub does this. So you might want to rename this to whatever is the plugin name you want to have. So we'll do all the processing because as of now, uh, I don't have a process created to replace all the default names to your uh, plugin name. All right. So in the near future, that will also be available on a website, supposedly. For now, what you will need to do is basically replace anything that says Vajra starter. Let's first install the packages. Now what we need to do is we'll just need to npm install. All right. So the packages are now installed i think we also need to do a composer install make sure you have a php 8.0 or above so we have the plugin ready if we were to refresh this this alert should be here all right so first things first let's get into the code what we have here then we can uh, look into how you can make it your own uh, to develop your own plugin right one important thing that is the menu all right so i guess what we we'll need to run the build script first because these all uh menu pages and uh stuff is uh, built on react and that will be required to be uh, built it right so we go back to the package.json and we see that there's this separate scripts available for everything what we can do for now is run build all so that should run everything now if we were to refresh this we'll see that the arrows are gone and there it is our uh, menu it's a react uh, app and i plan to keep building on this so that we have a set of components available for settings so that you can easily kickstart your plugin one of the important pain points of wordpress uh, plugin development uh, were not were they are still available because this, there is no settings framework there is no standard settings framework when you want to create a plugin you'll have to manually take care of it and then keep uh, Main, maintaining that so that if any errors come to that section of uh, your plugin you'll also have to handle it on your own there were some uh, frameworks but i don't think they are that good and are up to the standards that where the wordpress uh, community is going for so the new uh, wordpress admin is also uh, looking towards the new uh, uh, ui like what we have in the new site editor so what we have in this editor you'll see it's all made in react so and it is very modern uh, the design what we used to have in the wordpress admin is still old and it is going to be implemented in a new way uh, it's already in the development phase uh, and if you were to take a look at the wordpress github repositories uh, you'll see all the issues there how it is being planned right now so moving forward it is necessary to uh, create the plugins that are going to shape the future of the new WordPress also in React and a modern UI. So I suppose a plugin scaffold which has that is the way to go. Having that in mind, I'm also building the same. Uh, the settings page will follow the same standards and a UI uh, with all the components pre-built available to you to curate the settings. So it's not available right now, but uh, if you want to test it, this is available. Uh, the dashboard and the pages, the menu, etc. You can um, customize it according to your uh, uh, preferences. And uh, you can uh, basically subscribe to the uh, repository here and then keep following on when the new features get released. Right, so 
there's going to be a change log a page which will uh, supposedly have the change log for the plugin so you can customize it as per uh, to follow your plugin change logs so when a user has your plugin installed it, uh, they can view the change log uh, receipts so that should be pretty handful and the onboarding process uh, so the getting started initially i planned to have a separate onboarding page but then i realized that was going to be an another react app uh, so uh, while building on i realized that it could be all in one single react app and then that url can be hooked into the activation uh, hook so uh, what the scatter scaffold is going to have is this getting started page will get uh, hooked into the activation link and then when a plugin gets activated built on vajra it will be directed to the getting started page so basically this becomes your onboarding page you can customize it as much as you want so there's that so th these as you would expect will work just as like these menus and these are uh, instantaneous so you don't see a refresh but there's no change here uh, highlighted right now yeah so that needs to be fixed uh, moving on there's more stuff such as the block uh, script uh, we are using wp scripts made by the wp team itself and uh, the script uh, is made like this so that um, any blocks you put in the blocks repository it will automatically be output in the build folder and then uh, we have a, uh, php scripts running that will register them as a block right so we already have a demo block uh, uh, in the plugin scaffold and uh, it should has already been it should have been already uh, built when we ran the script in the earlier part of the video so if you were to take a look at the editor we'll also have a demo block by our uh, virtual starter so let's look for that here it is so demo block and you can see no user selected it says demo blocks scaffolded with the Vajra starter plugin you can make it your own you can do all sorts of stuff with your block and then any block folder you put in the blocks that will basically be your block the uh, standard code is uh, already provided you can copy and paste uh, um, into a new separate block so there's that and then there are these wp script uh, um, scripts basically you can look into wp scripts uh, how that works and I'll also have a documentation um, once I have the basic MVP ready for this and uh, that will follow on to each of these scripts and how can you use them to their best uh, of the ability uh, so when you are uh, trying to build you will run uh, start of course and uh, that will run only for the blocks part because there will be scripts that are made in a way that the webpack scripts only run for uh, the blocks part and if you want to run the separate uh, uh, such as the react app responsible for the dashboard aka settings uh, menu here um, in every rank you will also have to run this start dashboard so i suppose that can be improved uh, later on um, there's that and uh, um, there's formatting scripts such as this this will format uh, the javascripts uh, javascript uh, files uh, react files etc and then the css linting uh, there's a, a plugin zipper which is this plugin zip it should ship uh, zip everything and then uh, all the react code for the dash dashboard is in source uh, dashboard you can see there are a uh, fair bit of uh, code available right now as well you can take a look it uh, utilizes the best of react uh, it also supports backwards compatibility with the older react 16 versions and the newer react 16 uh, which uses the create uh, root uh, hook right so um, this is all standard and uh, the latest of the wordpress uh, we are also using composer to um, uh, hook into actually uh, get some packages in the vendor uh, you will see here uh, what we have right now is yeah so the there's an auto loading uh, method already available we have this auto loading because auto loading is such an important feature when you're building a plugin uh, with such as name spacing and classes and all my uh, previous years i have been aut uh, creating an auto loader or copying and pasting from some place every time i wanted to create a new plugin so that was always a headache 
So this that is already built into this. Uh, so you can already use the PSR4 standards uh, into such as this. You can always replace this to whatever namespacing you're going to use. And that is from the includes folder, right? You can see here plugins and it already has namespace for down there. Um, was just started, right? So I suppose you know all this because this is advanced level um, development. I and I won't be discussing how to do all of that because that is a separate video altogether. And um, yeah, I suppose I will also have a separate course on this. Maybe making a plugin on top of this to showcase what it can do. Um, for all the beginners out there who want to use the standards and the latest of WordPress like this. Um, uh, so yeah, and the most of all, uh, one of the best features of this is it uses Tailwind. So yay to all the developers who want to use Tailwind in WordPress. Uh, we have, um, as you would have already noticed if you are a Tailwind user, that this whole React app is built out of Tailwind CSS and uh, you can utilize, utilize it uh, at its fullest by um, uh, modifying this uh, configuration of Tailwind that is available in the plugin root. The lastly, what uh, we have here is I have made sure that this doesn't affect the other parts of the WordPress areas. So Tailwind uh, styles and the classes are only being applied to this region of the page and the man. And we also have in the includes folder, if you were to take a look in the core, we have the options table, which we're going to be using with the settings API here, which will once be implemented, should be available to you easily enough, which you can uh, supposedly use it like uh, you have used React uh, earlier with the libraries. So you basically use elements and then those will be saved directly in the database and you won't have to do anything. You can easily fetch them with a helper function, uh, which is yet to be built, but uh, the base is already there, so it shouldn't be hard to build upon. So uh, if you were to take a look into the admin, in the register admin.php, we have these uh, menu register functions. So if you were to take a look onto each of them, we are separately loading each page um, in a from separate function and they have helper functions from Jetpack Assets Library, actually. So you can utilize all that sort of stuff um, in a much better way while you are building a plugin. So I think the most important part for all of this is to be documented well enough to be used um, by uh, um, another developer, I suppose. So the next phase will have to be that uh, to be well documented before any MVP or anything whatever features it already has uh, so yeah so this was a quick look but i suppose that you get it uh, the scope of this and then what it will take to keep building on this is already in beta and uh, you can utilize it by just replacing all the vajra starter prefixes uh, by your own uh, plugin name and uh, yeah you can build whatever you want uh, this already has everything you need to start your um, React modern UI in the WordPress admin dashboard and whatever you want to build with your plugin. So I wish you all the best and I hope to see you soon in another videos. And thank you for watching this one. Have a great day. Maybe you can subscribe if you like this video. I truly really appreciate that. Thank you.